my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can always receive alerts when I upload new videos and live streams and give me a thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey Planner Fam, it's your girl Chakisha back with another DIY. No, DIY. <laughs> say dy do your it anyway um but yeah i'm back with another diy do it yourself for my um standard size or midori size well technically i've changed the size of my tee and cover to a um carrier i think i'm saying it right i'm trying to start to get myself familiarized with all of the sayings and things like that um, because I'm really loving um, just the creativity that comes along with being a traveler's notebook um, owner. So anyway, so what I decided to do is to make more reusable pockets. And the reason why I decided to do that is because I think I want to get on that whole themed traveler's notebook um, kind of concept so like um when the new year comes you know have new year theme or birthday theme or with the seasons change the themes and the easiest way to do that without having to always removing the covers that's already on your current traveler's notebook is to make some reusable um dashboard covers so here's a few that i made i actually have some I've kind of um, cut my Travelers Notebook down in size, um, and that's a whole nother video, and I'm not going to go on and on and on because I can, but I've um, wanted to make like about six different style um, reusable um, dashboard covers just to kind of give me some room to play around with different things depending on how creative I want to feel. So just to show you the few that I've made so far and then I'm going to make two more with you all today on this video. So this first one is a one pocket um, cover in which I have a pocket here that I created by doubling with another um, laminate pouch that I cut. And just to show you how this works. So I have some covers that I already had cut out and I like to round the corners. I think it gives it more of a sleeker look. And when I say these things are a magnet to pick up everything. And what I did do differently this time, um, I didn't um, separate it and making it a separate spine um, because I watched another video and they were making something different but if you think about it, the band is gonna keep, the elastic band is gonna keep anything from sliding. And as well, I use the score to kind of score um, that smooth part. And forgive my nail, I broke this while I was actually creating. That's on the wrong side. So you wanna make sure when you are creating um, your pockets, you have some type of measurement to make sure it matches with the size inserts that you have. And yes, I do have a little bit of spacing at the top, but that's fine with me because I don't mind my top view having, put it the right way, Keisha. I don't mind having my top view in which this is what that's called, top view or top gang. I don't mind having that a little bit um, shorter just because if I wanna put clips and stuff, I don't have to worry about it damaging my cover. So this is a cover that it goes straight in there, and you see it gives a nice, smooth, white um, cover. And then all you have to do is just, you can stick, you know, your die cuts or a piece of paper, whatever you need, you can stick this in that pocket. And it, it doesn't show through on the other side. So then another one that I made, this one is um, a double pocket, and it's like the secretariat style. And it has, this is my first time doing this as well. And again, all I did was um, use double pouches. And you'll see what I mean when I do um, the actual DIY. So this just gives it two pocket effects. So if you want to use this for like a, um, you know, to be able to keep more notes or receipts in there, you can do that as well. My nails look horrible. And just again, I think visuals always make a video so much better and like I said and this paper came out of a 
Some of this paper came out of this book right here that I got from Hobby Lobby. No, I got from Michaels. And then I have this one right here in which I might play around with these as well. It's good to have options to be able to pull from. So just again, so you can see how easily they fit in there. It looks like I got some extra paper. And this can even double as, like if you wanna keep stickers inside the Traveler's Notebook portion, I mean the dashboard cover, you can. So it double, doubles as a space to put your reusable covers, as well as like a little storage space. Let's see, well, be nice if I push this one down some more. And I know you're probably like, this is redundant, but I really think that if you can see things, it makes it a little clearer. And then you can always pull it up a little bit. And just to kind of show you how it does cover it, this is an extra insert that I have. And I mean, it does show a little bit of the brown, but that doesn't bother me. Um, like I said, if you want to make your covers a little bit um, longer, you can, but you just have to be very careful because you want to make sure you don't cut too much into your sides um, when you are doing your, your covers. And these last two, this one is just a plain one, no pockets. Um, but again, you have your opening. And this last one was actually a mistake. <laughs> I made a big mistake. So this was gonna be a pocket one, but I forgot to double my laminate for my pocket. So all I did was just take some, um, Recollections has the um, pocket accessories and I just glued it on top of it. Um, I may or may not use it, but it's good to have. That might be in the back of my book. So let me go ahead and show you how I'm going to make my next two pockets. Um, this one, I cut a larger secretariat, secretariat style um, pocket. And if you don't want to do all the extra work, you can buy the accessories and just um, adhere it down to whatever you're using. And then I have the smaller one. And I know it's probably hard to see these things because they're clear. Um, that's why I'm trying to use my hand. But then I have like the smaller pocket. And this is so like if I wanna put a picture or just something smaller inside um, the pocket. And I did round the corners. I think it, again, it gives it a more sleeker look when you have the rounded um, ends on your pockets as well as on the inserts. And lastly, I have already pre-cut these to size. And what I do to make my life much easier because I am not great with measurements and all of that stuff, I have a cover from a insert that I took off and I just simply have it measured for the width and the length. Then on my board, I'll have the measurements too and it's these black dots this is for one side and this these this is for the full size and then on my ruler this is for the width i don't know if you can see that see, see how i darkened it in and this is for the length so if you you know i'm not gonna sit here and act like i know how to measure anything in centimeters milliliters and all that stuff that ain't for me. So anyway, let's get straight into making these um, dashboard covers. So you wanna make sure you start off a clean surface because this laminate is like a magnet.
this particular dashboard cover will have a secretariat style pocket on the right hand side um, or the back side of the dashboard once it's folded all together. When you're cutting, it's very important to be very careful and you can tell when you've actually, when it's starting to open because you can kind of hear and feel the pressure release um, from the pocket that you're cutting open. So what I like to do is fold it and apply pressure with my fingers first and then go over it with a score or something that has a dull edge to kind of get that bend. And of course, I just love to have my corners round. It just gives it more of a sleeker and more polished look in my opinion. this earlier so the trick in making your pockets is to take the shiny sides and face them together and you want more of the frosty sides to face outwards and that's going to give you that pocket when you go in and cut it and the same thing with the little pocket that I'm going to put on here and that one is the same thing the shiny sides are touching each other and the frosty sides are on the outside so that's how you keep the pockets from um, adhering together when it goes through the laminate. If you don't do that, it's just going to be a laminated image of what you were trying to do.
this tip from um, one of my fellow YouTubers and planner babes. Um, when you're cutting a straight line, to use a ruler and to place the ruler on the back side and cut on the front side, and it'll keep it from sliding. Um, now it's easy when you're doing straight lines, but like early with the secretariat style pocket, I had to kind of freestyle it and be very, very careful. But this pocket turned out super cute. so there you have it these are the um reusable dashboards that you use to put over your tn inserts so you can switch out the um, different dashboard um, pieces that you cut out um, and that way you don't have to keep making new covers for your inserts or keep buying different types for the holidays um 2019 i'm all about trying to save me some coins so whatever i can do to do that i will and so i'm looking forward to setting up baby for 2019 i think i have her exactly how i want her i can't wait until um you all see my 2019 planner lineup. There has been some adjustments and some changes. There are a lot of planners, but I'm a very functional and like I always say, I don't like my food touching kind of planner. So um, I'm hoping to get that out maybe um, the week of Christmas um, so y'all can see everything. I'm just waiting on some other little items, but these are the reusable covers. Um, like I said, um, if you're not great at measuring out like I'm not, just get all of your tools and kind of mark how you need to have them and be okay with how they turn out. They don't have to be perfect, um, but they just have to work for you. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or if you have a DIY that you would like me to try out um, for Baby for 2019, and if you don't know, Baby is my TN. Um, if you want to see me try some things, because I'm willing to test things out and try it, because this will be my first time having a traveler's notebook. So, again, if this has inspired you to be crafty and to live your best planner life in 2019, make sure you drop me a comment below. As well, if you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video or my Sunday live streams. And as well, you guys, give me a big thumbs up. Like, this is a new journey for me, and I've been, like, studying and trying to get all of the little lingo and jargon down for Traveler's Notebooks, a.k.a. TNs. So, if this has inspired you, share this with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plans. So, until next time, planner fam, peace.